this wintry weather moves in, some students in the Lehigh Valley are getting a day off from school. Snow just started falling in that area within the last hour. Yeah, let's get more on the conditions out there. Heading outside for that part of our region. Iowa News reporter Ross DiMatte joining us live from Allentown, and we see those flakes flying. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Janelle and Jim. Look at this. I mean, the real stuff is here. The snow has officially arrived. I had to break out the winter hat because it is here, and it's like a winter wonderland right now here in Allentown. I'll tell you that the first flakes started falling about a half an hour ago, right around 8:30, and it was light at that time. It was that snow that just kind of melts right on impact on the car windshield or on the ground, and then there was a bit of a lull. And now look at it. We've got really thick flakes, and a lot of it is sticking to some of the surfaces, like the grass that I'm standing on right now. The good news is. The roads are holding up pretty well. All morning long, we've really been telling you about how Public Works and uh, PennDOT have been working together over the past couple of days, doing a lot of the pre treating of the roads so that the initial snow doesn't stick and turn into ice and create some of the dangerous roadways like we have seen in the past. And I would say so far it's early, but it is holding up. The roads are uh, fairly well traveled at this point still, and that's because a lot of the snow not yet sticking because of those pre treatments. Now, the drivers we've been talking to, They've been filling up on gas and making sure that they have their ice scrapers at the ready. That was one thing we've been hearing a lot this morning. A few of them uh, have been telling us what they have done to get ready for a snowstorm like this. Take a listen. Gas up and um, just make sure that everything's in order around the house. Have uh, some soup on the stove, all that good stuff. Get all the shovels out and all the ice. Um, removers, scrapers for the cars, things like that. Make sure that there's water, there's food, uh, dogs warm, and have some house projects ready to go in case I'm snowed in. Seems like everyone's made their preps and they are ready for the snow. Now, I will say I've also noticed an uptick in some of the plow trucks arriving here at the Wawa where we are standing right next to, and they uh, are ready, it seems, to start clearing off some of these roads as soon as the snow starts to accumulate on the ground. And this is the kind of snow that will do just that. I talked to one of the drivers and he told me that it's really important for them to gas up and to uh, fuel up on snacks as well because they're going to be out on the roads for much of the next 24 hours. So you don't want to be running on an empty stomach when you got to clear off a lot of these roads over the next day or two. We're live in Allentown. Ross DiMatte, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Snacks are important, Ross. And finally, you get a chance to break out the CBS3 snow <laughs> hat. Love to see it. Good stuff. Thanks, Ross. <laughs> we'll see you later on. Well, because of all the snow, all uh, Bethlehem area school district schools will be closed today. In Chester County, Westchester schools and Downingtown schools had a two hour delay. And we have a full list of all of the school closures and office closures, which you can find on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.